Ryan. What is going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shoop. You're watching TFNN, the Tom O'Brien Show. I hope you all had a good weekend. Uh, I was in Cleveland for a friend's birthday, and it was dog cold, but it was a great time. We went out to a concert. Uh, very nice. Um, I always I had this like kind of developing theory, right, in the sense where everyone is moving to the coast and has been for so long, right, and it's just becoming untenable almost in the sense that like. No one can really afford to buy a house here in any capacity. I would say up the East Coast, it's already been like that for quite a while. And I was looking at different areas that were developing. This was probably about like a year ago or something like that. And I was seeing places like Huntington, Huntington Alabama are attracting a lot of different people. Uh, they have, a, I think it's a missiles program out there, but they're bringing in more tech, more finance people. You're seeing this start to develop out in some areas of Arkansas, which is interesting. And I thought, well, hey, you know, is there potential for the Midwest to kind of get a little bit of that cake? You know, I mean, seriously, I think I would probably move there at some point, right? If I ever wanted to like own a home and do the whole big thing, uh, because it's just a fraction of the cost. But uh, there in the winter time, and I realized that that's probably not going to last very long. But it was a good time, um, and so yeah, I hope everything went well for you guys. I was speaking with uh, Larry the entire time on the live trading. Uh, again, that I heard went extraordinarily. Well, uh, for a lot of people there, if you go to the services tab on TFNN.com, you can go get it right now. Now, we're done for the month with live trading, right? It's going to start back again, I believe, December 13th. My math is right on that. But in the meantime, if you want to get in on there, like he had a killer euro trade. It was just very good. If you want to get in on this, right, you can still use the code that we have. That's Larry Nove 24 Again, even though there are no more live trading sessions for the rest of this month, uh, you can still get that kind of savings uh, right there for the month of December. Of course, we have a short week, uh, Thursdays, Thanksgiving. Uh, what else? We have Black Friday afterwards. I think the market's only open for uh, half a day then. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll be open for that, but we will keep you posted on it. Let's take a look at what we got going on right now. The composite trading up about 0.13%. In the Dow Jones Industrial up about 0.92% at $44,702. You have the SPY trading up 0.25% at 596 with those futures trading up 0.23% at 6,000. Right now, you have the DXY. Okay. So, wow, what a pretty strong pullback on that, right? Really wanted to get up to that 108.7 level, crashes right back down. Of course, you got some discussion on the new Treasury Secretary and how that might um, kind of maybe temper some of the the more uh, intense rhetoric that Trump has uh, regarding international trade and kind of how he wants to do that. Uh, let's see here, you have crude oil. This is really fascinating, right? This, this whole market, I feel like, is in kind of a new paradigm in the sense like, I mean, we're able to like highly shrug off some of this kind of stuff, meaning conflict in the Middle East. Um, I want to talk about as well this is Iran came out and said that they don't have a lot of room to increase, at least OPEC plus doesn't have a lot of room to, to increase supply in any capacity, right? And we can talk a little bit about that. Uh, probably we'll do it, we'll do it next segment or something like that. But it's interesting to see how all these things that would, you know, traditionally shoot this, you know, price up, it's just not affecting it, even with colder winters and stuff like that. Very interesting, uh, no doubt, off about 3.05% right now, trying to get $69 on that forward contract. Uh, let's see, gold, man. That was a nice fake out move to the upside there. Um, Asia sold a lot of gold, right? I mean, that's really the big kicker, right? I mean, Asia just sold a lot of their gold. Probably rebalancing in some sense. I think gold is still attractive at some level, uh, at least for you know, protecting against uh, any kind of economic downturn. But this is, is having a serious problem here. Off 3.14%, trading off $85.10 at 2,627. Had great sessions, trying to get right back up uh, before that big leg down which had a high there of around 2,767, excuse me, 61. And then uh, just gave it straight up today. That's a huge bar down on some decent volume as well. Again, we made an all-time high this year of 2,801, and it just kind of gave it up. You have copper, 
let's see, trading up 0.53% at $4.10. It's kind of the same story with the metals, right? Silver didn't do as much of a fake out, but still has this kind of leg down today, trading off 2.93%, $30.42. And the Russell, though, the Russell is really doing quite well, trading up 1.96%, easily the strongest today out of these indices, um, trading at 2,460 and 90 cents. I mean, it's like this market is just so strong still. Moving a lot like how the Dow moves on that. Let's see what else we got going on. You have Apple not doing much, Bank of America up a little bit, Citigroup up a little bit, Disney has been doing phenomenally as well. Man, really sustaining that gap up too, which is nice to see. Trading kind of sideways right now, 115.56. Lucid, Rivian doing phenomenally today. Lucid up 3.33%. Let's take a look at Rivian as well. Turning up 10.74%, which is fantastic. But it really has this resistance level here, right, of, of 12. Has support, a pretty strong support, $10. It needs to break 12 with some decent volume and keep trading up, you know, kind of into this breakdown range. And that would be phenomenal. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to do that. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. There's... Some news today coming out uh, with Rivian, uh, essentially whatever Tesla is trying to sue them for, someone's stealing info from them and, and bringing it to Rivian, uh, I think was dismissed. And then the California governor said that he would be willing to essentially put out a, an EV credit if Trump decided not to do it. But I have a feeling, you know, you, you have a lot of these large in American Mar American uh, vehicle companies as well who've been trying to develop EVs and they're just kind of sitting there and they would be at a massive disadvantage if Trump got rid of that as well so they're in talks trying to kind of convince him maybe not to do that or to do something different uh, because that would end up burning uh, massive holes uh, in their pockets w without a doubt I mean that, that would be very bad for their quarterlies um, if they had to sit on that and sell them at a loss inevitably right just to get rid of the inventory so kind of interesting for that. Still Dynamics up 1.08% and Tesla off 2.05%. Uh, some of the big news today is going to be coming from Amazon, right? And this is where you've seen a lot of this movement up in a lot of these quantum stocks, right? We'll take a look at those when we come back from the break.